Let's go up. Oh man, we're maxing out. Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be checking out the Creative Sound Blaster Katana V2. I did receive this product to review, but the brand has no say in this video whatsoever. They're seeing it the same time that you are. If you're interested in the Sound Blaster Katana V2, the link will be in the video description. Here's the lovely retail box and packaging right here. Check it out. We have what's included on the side, more product information on the back, and some technical specifications on the other side. So you may notice from the front, this features RGB, 252 watts of peak power. I cannot wait to try this out. Bluetooth 5.0, USB audio, HDMI arc as well, and Dolby audio. We got a lot of great features on this sound bar. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the contents. Here are all the contents. First up, we have our product literature featuring our safety and regulatory information, followed by our one year limited warranty info and our quick start guide available in multiple languages. Next, we have our two included wall mount brackets with screws, remote control. You can see all the buttons and controls right here on the remote. Flipping it over to the backside, we will need two AAA batteries to use the remote. We have our power supply right here, our AC DC adapter with barrel connector. Then we just need to choose one of the three cables to power our sound system, depending on the country that you're in, just match the cable with your outlet. We also have a USB type A to USB type C cable and an optical audio cable. Next, we have the sound bar with the Sound Blaster logo and branding. And lastly, we have the subwoofer right here. Let's go ahead, let's look at those in more detail. Here's the sound bar up close. From the top, we have our brushed metal design, circular grills, Sound Blaster logo and branding, all of our buttons and controls right here with a couple indicator lights. Looking at it from the front, we have that wraparound grill, built-in display, headphone jack. RGB lights also wrap around, go over the front and the sides at the bottom. Looking at the very bottom, some ventilation, our two feet, additional product information. You can see the wrap around RGB light again. Looking at it from the very back, we have some additional venting, our HDMI out. SFXI out, which is a USB type A port, USB type C audio in, auxiliary in, optical audio in, sub out, and our power connector. We can show both sides of the sound bar as well. You can get a feel for the thickness. It is sloped and angled back. So taller, thicker in the front, narrower in the back. You can see the other side right there. They're identical to each other with the wraparound. Now you're looking at the sub with the Sound Blaster logo and branding. Look at it from the side, from the very top, very back with our integrated cable right here. Here's a look at the other side. Then we can look at the very bottom. You can see the four nice sturdy feet that are attached. So we got everything set up here. Let's look at how we have the cables and the different options you have depending on your setup. So everyone's gonna plug in their power supply and adapter as well as the subwoofer to the sub out spot. But then this is where things vary depending on how many devices you have connected, how you wanna connect and listen. So optical in, auxiliary in, USB audio in via type C. You could use the included cable to connect your PC. We have our super XFI option and our HDMI out with our ARC. So for our super XFI, this is gonna be a really cool accompanying mobile app you can use to set up. Basically you scan your ears and your head and you get a custom audio listening experience. You can do that right there. And for HDMI out with our ARC connector, make sure you connect to the ARC supported HDMI port on your TV and then connect your other devices like maybe a computer, your console, DVD or Bluetooth player, things like that. And then you have the ARC here, the audio return channel. You can route that to this system. And don't forget, you can also use Bluetooth and not connect anything else if you don't want. So we have ours all set up via Bluetooth. It's a very simple pairing process. First thing you need to see is what the device is called. So Sound Blaster Katana V2, it's great when they're named what they are so you can easily find them. Make sure on your device that you have Bluetooth turned on, power on, 
the system itself. And then you're gonna hold down the power button or Bluetooth button for two seconds to enter into pairing mode. It'll even tell you that on the display. And then you're able to follow the prompts on screen through your mobile device to connect to it to start listening to music. So with our device connected via Bluetooth, let's sample some music. We're gonna play the song Unstoppable by Music Chef. Music Chef is home to stream safe music for content creators to use online. Currently, we have the volume at 50%. It's set to 25. We can max out at 50. So let's go ahead, let's give it a listen, then we'll crank that volume all the way up. Again, volume 25, 50% for the level. Bass hasn't been adjusted at all, set to zero. Already pushing a lot of air out. Well, let's turn it up. Now we're at 40. So loud. Sounds really good. We're bumping, baby. All around, we're getting that nice surround vibe. Let's go up. Oh, man, we're maxing out. Now we're down to volume 10. This system really bumps. Now let's take a look at the Creative Mobile app. This is a free app for iOS and Android devices. No account needed or anything else. Once you have it downloaded, you'll be at the screen where you can give it Bluetooth permission. So make sure your Bluetooth is turned on and enabled and it'll find your device and connect right to it. So in our case, we have the Sound Blaster Katana V2. These three dots give us a couple additional options to forget or disconnect, but let's just go ahead and let's select it and we have a bunch of options to go over. First up in the top right hand corner, we have our settings gear icon where we can view our device name, adjust our subwoofer settings so we can turn it up or down. You can see the range right here. We'll leave it at zero, but configure that however you prefer. Energy saver, display, firmware, product help. We can even reset the device if we have any issues. Then further down, we have our speaker or headphone option, depending on the output you choose. And we have our Bluetooth input settings right here. But again, you have multiple options. Auto switch to TV HDMI, we can turn that on or off. Then we have our sound mode settings. So again, speakers or headphones. We have our acoustic engine. We can adjust surround. So a lot of different settings here. We'll just gently move through them. Smart volume, dialogue. You can make those adjustments there. Quickly access them all right here. Equalizer, we can choose the EQ preset depending on what type of content we're listening to. This is definitely made for gamers because you can see they have game specific EQ presets, which is really cool. So say you're playing Fortnite, you can turn that on. So many different options. Love seeing that there. Different genres for music as well. Here's our lighting settings, so we can turn it on or off and select different presets. And then our decoder settings. Normal, full, or night for our Dolby audio experience. And we can go back. We have our super XFi settings here. There's an accompanying app you can download. Again, you got to scan your ears and your head to get that custom listening experience. Acoustic engine settings again, we looked at those. Our equalizer, we can turn that on or off. We have different adjustments here. So choose whatever you want. You can save it too, which is great right up there. Crystal voice settings, we can turn on smart volume, our mic equalizer. Look at all those different options. So much customization, that's what's key here. So if you're an audio snob, audio file, you're looking for something to tweak because you're not happy with most of the out of the box solutions, 
chances are you'll be able to find something here. Scout mode, we can turn that on or off. So this is great, again, if you're gaming, you wanna hear footsteps, things like that. Here's our lighting settings again, depending on the preset that we're in. Different colors, reacts to music if you want. Our decoder settings again we looked at, mixer options here, so we can adjust the volume and subwoofer settings. No remote needed, just our phone, so you don't have to get off the couch. And then lastly, we can set custom buttons. This is pretty neat, so if you notice on the remote control, we have all these options down here, C1 through C6. So let's select C1, we have different commands, mic monitoring, scout mode. So you choose what you want for those six different buttons from that list right there. RGB lights, different modes. Pretty cool that those options are built right into the mobile app. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the RGB lighting in more detail. So we have the studio lights off. First, we're to control the RGB lights with the remote control. So we can turn them on. We'll cycle through some of the different modes right here. So you get an idea for how bright the built-in RGB lights are. So just a couple simple modes right here with the remote control. We have additional options from within the lighting settings. So here's our lighting. Let's go into there. So first up, we have our wave rainbow. So all of our different lighting presets that we just cycled through. We'll select them again here using the mobile app so you can see them. And depending on the preset that we select, we can then configure this lighting further. So we got our mood orange right there. The white's nice, that's probably one of the brightest ones. Different wave options. My favorite one hands down is the rainbow. I think the colors just look really nice. So let's choose that one. We'll go back here. So we have our motion. So we can choose different motion options. We'll go through those pretty quickly. You get the idea from the presets that we looked at. And that's changing. how it's displayed, obviously. But it looks like we're just looking at different presets again, for the most part. Very similar, there's definitely some overlap there with the motion versus the light that we actually chose. So let's go back to Wave Rainbow here. We have different colors, so we could choose those, enter value, save colors. So if you wanna customize this maybe to your own logo or branding, Different speed options here, slowest to fastest or custom speed. Choose the direction that we want it to go, left or right or bouncing. Let's select bouncing and see what that looks like. Okay, bounces back and forth. We have our music reactive, so we could play some music and then it's gonna react right here. Well, I like the music mode there. So you get the idea and then we can adjust those settings here. Idle, reactive, decay, global brightness. Then we can customize the RGB light button back to our remote settings right here to customize them. So you get the idea with the lights. I'd love to see them brighter in the future, but they look great head on, especially if you're close by. But if you have this under your TV, it's gonna reflect a little bit on the surface below, but not much if you're trying to cast a bunch of light or set a specific mood in the room, unless it's pitch black, you'll obviously be able to see it, you know, just looking at it, but to cast any light further, they're just not that bright, but it's really a nice touch 
think it looks great and will go great with any setup. So whether you're looking for a plug and play audio solution or you're an audiophile and snob looking to tweak and adjust every possible setting, this has something for everybody. Obviously it's made towards gamers. So if you're looking to upgrade from your TV speakers or your computer monitor speakers, this is gonna be a really nice option for you. Maybe you don't like wearing headphones for a prolonged period of time, but you still want some great sound. This is definitely an option for you to consider. It's small and compact. So this could rest nicely under your monitor right on your desk. Obviously the subwoofer is bigger. You could abandon it if you don't want or put it under your desk. So there's definitely some flexibility there and they give you a wall mount option as well if you wanna keep everything off your desk. But simple to set up, plug and play solution with advanced customizations to hopefully satisfy your ears.